Three on your side continuing our team coverage of this catastrophic event with crews in both Sharkey and Humphreys counties. Our Courtney Ann Jackson has been in Rolling Fork since before sunrise. She so shows us now just how terrible the destruction is there. Sometimes it's difficult to imagine the sheer force of these storms, but this is a visual that makes it clear just how strong the storm was. I'm standing on top of a foundation. These bricks, the mortar, not even strong enough to withstand the storm. They're not only scattered, but even broken along the ground. And then there's this, not one, but two tractor trailers that have been completely pushed onto their sides. We're told that they were parked along Walnut Street and now they're stacked on top of one another and the metal from surrounding buildings is wrapped around the body of the truck. It's just unimaginable. Daylight illuminated families nightmares turned realities. I'm still here. Thank you, Jesus. I'm still here. We were there as Ophelia Stewart Thank came home Jesus. for the first time since the storm. My trailer was right there, gone gone is nothing. Her neighborhood and mangled combination of splintered wood, flipped cars, and a faint sound of alarms in the distance. They didn't know where I was, but mm -hmm. they should have known I wasn't there. I always leave. I never stay. They were calling around because my neighbors down the street, they say they looked in that rubble for two hours. For me, I wasn't there. I don't never stay there. I always follow my instinct. When they say bad weather come, I leave out their trailer. Another neighbor was escorted through the rubble <laughs> as she looked for where her trailer had been tossed and whether any of her belongings were able to be recovered. Her husband, Terry Warren. We don't know what's going to happen next. We don't know where we're going, what we're going to do, where we're going to go. Uh, it lost everything. That's the key point about it right there. You know, we lost everything at the point that it didn't have much anyway, you know. And a little bit we did, uh, uh, what we did lose. It's, it's hurts me bad. They won't be alone in those next steps. State resources are here with more on the way. We'll fight, uh, fight like hell to make sure that, that we get as many resources to uh, this area as, as possible. They've already started conversations with FEMA, which will also be sending teams here. Now we go into life safety. From life safety, we go into, all right, where do you have a place to stay? Taking care of the family members now, looking at food, looking at water, looking at facilities, and that. I mean, we just went through a field hospital right here. Those guys came in at about four o'clock this morning and started running that field hospital. So now we've got to get a step towards normal. We're going to get there in one day, no. But are we going to get it? We are. We're going to go every step. With lawmakers finishing a budget, they say. And we stand ready as a legislature to to uh, provide whatever financial resources we can. The fatalities are the worst part. But, uh, you know, what we can do is help people rebuild and get their lives back together. As the town they love is leveled, local leaders are appreciative of all the help that's already here, but finding themselves balancing leading with personal loss. Home is torn up, and uh, but when we, you know, my wife and I come out from under the rubble, we, uh, we had each other, so we're, we're doing okay. In Rolling Fork, Courtney Ann Jackson, three on your side.